Are we going to do this today? Yes, we are. Okay. Welcome. Today we are doing probably my least favorite Britney album. We're doing Britney Jean. But we're going to power through it. We're going to do it. So, welcome to my channel. I'm Ms. Roxanne for who don't know. Uh, we're doing the full album. And we're going to start off with Alien. So, let's start this. Uh, Okay, I will say the song's pretty good. I'll give this a B plus. Yeah. Um, there's just a little vocal crappiness going on in there, but that's the only part I don't like about it. Um, but I love how, like, her... I like when she hits her upper right shirt during the chorus or the pre-chorus, one of the areas. It's really, really good. I really do like that a lot. Um... And I like how visual the song is. It's very, um, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Like, I can, I, like I can just picture my head. It has um, good to um, context in the um, in the song. It was very, like, um, makes you think and actually visualize. Like, I arrived on a shooting star. And it's just very, I don't know, descriptive song that makes you can just think about what the video could look like in my head. Very hard to explain, but I don't know. Anyway, uh, the next song is going to be Work Bitch. And I really do like this song, actually. You wanna... Bitch. You wanna Lamborghini? Sip martinis? Look hot that shit. Party in France? You better work, bitch. Bitch, you work, bitch. I do like this breakdown coming up. Work it out, work it out, work it out, work it out, work it out. 
Hold it up. Um, like I said, it's, I will give the song, uh, I'll give it an A. Just because I do like the song, um, it's constantly my workout rotation. My only issue is, um, the, um, in the breakdown, you can also tell <laughs> there's some vocal mess happening there. Uh, that I didn't like, and it's kind of predominant throughout the entire album, to be honest with you. But, um, I do like the song, like the beat. There wasn't a lot of switch-ups in there, which I, you know, I would have liked. And, yeah. Other than that, pretty good song. So the next song we're going to be listening to is Perfu Perfume. <laughs> Can't talk today. Okay, I will say I do like the laugh. A lot of people say they don't like Sia's laugh. But I like it, though. I think it fits with the song. So that was that song. Um, I'll give this, I'll give it a C, but almost a C minus actually. There's too much happening in the song, and this is considered a ballad. It's not to me. It's not a ballad. It should be more slowed down. But there's, I feel like there's too much happening in the chorus, and then um, Sia's vo uh, background vocals are really prominent in the song as well. I feel like they could have made that a little bit softer and made that like a little bit um. Make it not as loud. And, um, because I don't know what I'm saying, to be honest with you. Um, <clears throat> I just feel like it could have been a lot better. And whoever hit this as a single friend, no. Shouldn't have done that. Uh, you don't do a fast pace on the hit a slow song. The, the typical formula is you do fast song, fast song, fast song, slow song. That's the fourth single, not the second single. It kills momentum with your album. That's how I feel. Or at least do fast song, fast song, slow song, then back to fast. Then maybe back to a slow song. Something like that, but you don't do fast slow because it's kind of dead after that. Anyway, um, I just don't, there's just certain elements of the song I just really can't get into. I really don't like it that much. Like I said, there's too much happening, and the the vocals are just all over the place, and the backgrounds are trying to be more prominent than the actual vo um, main vocal, which I don't like at all. It doesn't f gel with the song, I feel like, that much. But overall, it's a okay song, but it's not great. So um, the next song is going to be It Should Be Easy featuring Will I Am. Starting out to be a good song. Girl, no. You don't need that much auto tune or vocalizer or vocoder or whatever it is. Seriously.
Which is this? Too much vocoder, water fed, whatever the situation is, it was too much on her. Well, I am, we kind of said that he's been doing that mess since 2009, 2008, whatever. Um, song is okay, I'll, I'll give it another C. I'll give it a C plus because I like it better than perfume. Um, it's just too much in there. I mean, there's not enough switch-ups through all the songs so far. There's like hardly any switch-ups in it, which I don't like that much. I, I love switch-ups, is what I'm saying. I just feel like there's just not enough happening. It's touch repetitive and it's just a, some type of, I just feel some type of way. So, um, we're just going to jump into the next song, which is Tip Tip Boom by T.I. Vastly better. Okay, this song is so far better than the other songs I've heard so far. I'm gonna give this an A+. It's because it has guitar in it, it has switch-ups in it, it has a nice rap in there by T.I. And there's ad-libs at the end of the song. Which I love ad-libs so much. The beat's really good and like I said, I love guitar. Always loved guitar. Anyway, um, I'll give this A+, and um, pretty good song. I like it. This one I actually continue to listen to. So the next song we're going to jump into is Body Ache. So let's listen to that one. Okay, done without that core, that this beat right here. No. Okay, when you, when she gets a little stronger, it goes. <laughs> it's like really, you don't need that. Sorry, it sounds off and sounds weird.
No. <laughs> I really did not like the song that much at all. I don't give this a C minus because there's a few redeeming qualities in the song, but not a lot. I'm just saying. The only part I like is the um the mini bridge and the and the breakdown is probably about it. The beat sucks. I'm sorry, it does. There's there's some really good elements in there, but then when it hits to that main beat, I'm just like, uh-uh. I cannot get into the song at all. And I just don't, I just don't like it. There's too much vocal mess happening in there that I just, uh, I can't deal. I'm sorry. I just, uh. Anyway, it's a C minus, borderline D. Ugh. Anyway, the next song we're going to listen to is Till It's Gone. Also, before I do jump into Till It's Gone, with body eight, there's not, there's too repetitive. There's not a lot of substance in it. It's just more beat driven and not really lyric driven. And that's kind of, some songs it's fine, but this one, it doesn't work. Anyway, the next song is Till It's Gone. That. Play please. <laughs> I do like this. This I can deal with because it sounds a thousand times better than last song. Okay, when she's doing the spaces in there, I feel like it works kind of good, but when it keeps going and going and going for a long period of time, it doesn't work well. I feel like I feel like she only should have done it for a couple of like words, then just sing it regular, and don't chop, you know, a a a la uh, you know, just do that for like two or three words, and then just move on. Um, like I said, it's a pretty decent song. I don't give this a B. Uh, there's certain elements I like, and there's some I really don't like. Um, I already kind of mentioned on it, but I will say the B is infinitely better than the last song. And I can, I can, I do listen to the song kind of regularly, like semi-regularly. So, um, I really, it's probably one of the few songs I actually listen from this album on a semi-regular basis. So, um... But I do like how, like I said, the lyrics in this song are kind of like alien. It's very descriptive, so you can kind of picture like a video in your head and stuff. So I really do like that kind of aspect about it. And, um, yeah. <laughs> the next song is going to be Passenger. They could have cut this in and tried about, about like 15 seconds and they still have about a bunch more to spare. I had to cut it a little bit. <laughs> you don't need a 35 second intro. You really don't. You need about 
10 to 15 maybe. 15 max. Um, it's definitely one of the better songs on the album. Um, I'll give this a B, just because there's just a little bit that I kind of don't like about it. But other than that, really, really good song. Um, another um, descriptive, excuse me, descriptive um, song. Like I said, I can kind of picture it in my head and stuff. So um, I like that aspect of it. The background vocals were not that bad this time. Because this was, like, I think another Sia song. And... Uh, or a cover by her and at least I think in this one it was a little bit more toned down which I like a lot so we're going to jump into the next song and it's called Chillin' With You featuring Jamie Lynn Weird song, but I kind of like it. I'll give this, um, I'll give this, honestly, a B minus. Um, it's a pretty decent song. It's just that she gets into that, Brittany gets into that little baby voice, and it's like at a higher pitch. I don't know if they actually pitched that or what, but I didn't like that at all. But I do like Jamie Wynn's verse in there, but the, the chorus is weird because it's like, it has like a country feel then gets an awesome into electronic feel. I don't think that transitions that well with that. I don't think it gels with it that much. I feel like it could some, have a little bit more stripped down chorus maybe or something. I don't know, but um, it's a weird song, but I also but I kind of like it too. And my light dies, so I have to charge it now. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we'll jump into the next song, which will be Don't Cry. Love the whistle in this. I actually love this whistle a lot. This song's pretty good. Oh. 
pretty decent song. Um, I'll give this one, I'll give this one a B minus as well. Um, it's actually a pretty good song. Um, I like how I love the whistle in there and the beat's really good. It's just that the vocals just feel a little off. Pretty much on all the songs, the vocals feel a little off so far. Except for maybe Tip Tip Boom and maybe Work Bitch. Those are probably the only few that are don't have that much vocal tampering in it or whatever. It just sounds off to me. Some of the voices on the vocals sound a little weak on the weak side. But, um, but the next song we'll be going into is Brightest Morning Star. And to be honest, I don't think I've even heard the song in full. Um, that's actually a pretty decent song. I actually have not heard the song before, so this gives me a review slash reaction. Um, let's see here. I'll get this uh, another B minus. I feel like I'm being actually kind of generous with this rating. Um, overall, um, my only issue is the chorus is a little messy. There, you hear too much of the background singer trying to kick in. I feel like that could have been softer. And then, um, she has the spoken things, like, like, speak singing at the end of the final chorus, but you don't really hear it because of the actual chorus is happening on top of it. And, of course, it's just a little bit louder than talking point. And I feel like the talking point could be on, like, a bridge and then hit it with the final chorus. So you can make it actually, like, a third, uh, three minute, 30 second song or something like that. I just feel like that could have been a little bit better than, um, it sounded. Um, that's probably my own complaint about it. I do like the message behind the song and stuff. It's basically about our kids, like, a year of the world of my life. Every time you cry, I want to help out, and that type of thing. So I really do like that type of message. And, like, all I, all I do is, is this is for you. So I really do kind of like that. So the next thing we're going to get into is Hold On Tight. Uh, this one is definitely a stronger track, and this is one I do listen to regularly. 
Um, I'll give this one a B plus. Well, I'll give it an A, to be honest with you. It's actually a really good song. Um, I love the beat, and I love just... She has strong vocals in this one. There's no background singers. There's no vocal F-ups in here. So I really do like this song a lot, actually. And the beat's really good as well, which I think I already said, but I don't remember because I'm very tired right now. So uh, anyway, um, I'll give this an A. So the next song we're going into is Now That I Found You. Vichy vibes from the song because I sure as hell do. It sounds just like that song. I cannot remember the name of it at all, but um, it sounds a lot like that uh, Vichy song. Okay, there's definitely a little bit of country influence in there, and a bit. Of, I feel like a um, Fiji um, flavor in there as well. And I don't know. I give it. I guess I'll give it song like a C. I didn't really like it all that much, but I feel like um, if it was a single, it, it could have been like one of those tour videos that people do, like where they are going on the road and stuff. But actually, she only had her res residency for this, so she could. I don't know. Done like a little, quick little thing, like flying to Vegas or driving to Vegas or something, do like a little something and then like have like a jump cut of something else like I don't know her dancing with someone for it's called Now That I Found You, like dancing with that the that person that she found or you know just something a little bit along those lines and have like behind the scenes stuff of the tour and stuff like that of the residency or whatever. So I feel like they could have done that if this was a single that's what I would picture the video being I don't know, just, I just get that vibe from it. Um, so the last song is Perfume Again, but this is the Dreaming Mix. So let's listen to that. Definitely different. Okay, I like the chorus better, and I like how the background vocals of C is not prominent. I really do like this so far.
Okay, this one is about three times better than original. I am here to say that right now. The vo the background vocals are not as prominent. They're still kind of prominent, but not as bad. So I really like how her voice is more at the forefront. And then there's not as much mess happening in the chorus. It's very simple and very elegant. I feel like it's like an ele elegant type beat. I don't understand. I don't know what I'm saying either. But anyway, I do like this version better than the original. So I do like the Dreamy Mix a lot better. Uh, the album as a whole, uh, I don't think I gave this right yet. Uh, B plus. Yeah. Um, so as a whole, this album, I'll give it a C. And I think that's very fair because this album is not as strong as their previous works whatsoever. Uh, I feel like it's kind of a step in the bad in um, the opposite direction because it's more EDM based but it's like a throwback of EDM it's not like it didn't hold up well this was released in 2013 and I don't think it's held up I don't think it's aged well at all to be honest with you and I feel like a C rating is a generous generous review of the song of this album because I just there was, of course, good songs in there, but no one were like, oh my god, I'm so excited for the song. It's super awesome. I feel like there's maybe like one or two songs that were like that. That's about it. Uh, at least for all the her other albums, I at least had about four or five. I was like, oh my god, this is freaking amazing. So, um, a little bit of a letdown from this, but overall, it was, a, it was an okay album. It's just something, you know, it's just... It's hard to gel with it because I feel like the vocals were messed up. I feel like production was not as good as it could have been. I feel like all these producers that were on this album, they could have delivered a lot more A-list tracks on here. And I don't know who was in charge of the A&R, but shame on you, to be quite honest. Anyway, um, that's going to do it for me. And so if you like this video, if you like this reaction um, review, Please comment down below and tell me what you think. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you agree or disagree with me? Because this is like, uh, it's just probably her weakest album, I feel like. And just subscribe for more stuff that will be coming up because I'm doing glory after this because I need to listen to some awesome, awesome music, which I know the album is full of. So if you, like I said, just like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on my next video and have a super duper awesome day. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye, everybody.